Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are looking for someone in here in the bazaar. Oh, and Zeus has a level up. Uh, so we are looking for Alfredo. All right. Well, Zeus. Hmm. Let's just check our weapons. Uh, we want heavy weapons. Army MG. That's terrible. Mm. So we don't really need to get up in heavy weapons. So why don't we go up one in explosives? So you have nerd stuff plus one there. Why do you have that? Oh, that's why. Uh, but do you have, do we have an explosives thing? No. Do we have an explosives book? Uh, leadership, brawling, hard ass, weird science, melee, barter, brawling, sniper rifles, and animal whisperer. Alright. We are gonna get your explosives up. And then you're gonna get hmm. some strength. Max that out. For perks. Hmm. There isn't really anything I want for him. I think we'll wait. Well, that's actually quite nice, the widespread there. Yeah, I, th I think we'll uh, wait to give him a perk. Let's see, does anyone else have? Yes, you do. And I want your weird science up. And then I want your speed up. And perks for you. This is very situational. I think I'm going to wait on that perk. You have as well. Do we have any armor that needs weird science higher? Weird science three. I don't think we do. No. So do we want to get weird science higher on her? Or do we want to get sniper rifles? Or even animal whisperer maybe. We have both a book for Animal Whisper and Sniper Rifles. Uh, she is running around with the Sonic Emitter, which I keep forgetting to use, and I should. Um, you're already using the best Sniper Rifle we have. We have 
books for both Sniper Rifles and Animal Whisperer. Hmm. What perks? So Weird Science gets you this perk. Energy attacks have a 10% chance to electrocute enemies, dealing energy damage to them and anyone standing nearby for two turns. That's not bad. Then there's sniper rifles, chain ambush. You watch the battlefield like a hawk. Nothing gets by you without a hole in its head. Ambush attacks with sniper rifles that kill your target. Don't end the ambush. Okay. That's not half bad either. And this animal whisperer, if your animal companion drops 25%, in 50% critical in two action point. Hmm, Jody. I think I'm gonna go with sniper rifles. Yeah. And then I'm gonna give you some luck. And I am also gonna let you read the sniper rifle book. And so now she's maxed on, maxed on sniper rifles and we can choose the chain ambush. All right, not bad. And she even has another perk. which I think we'll use when we get Weird Science up. Okay. Then we have Quan, who also has a level up. I guess we'll get another explosives on you. Hmm. Do you need more strength? Is there some armor that we want you to get? I don't think so. Don't need more strength. So let's do awareness. And for perks, hmm. Petite feet. No longer set off landmines when stepping on them. It's actually not bad. I think we'll save your perk. That was everyone, right? Yep. All right. Let's go find Alfredo. There is Alfredo. Guns sanctified A laser with pistol. blood. Oh, I've always blood wanted one of sanctified these. Sanctified by guns. Man of taste, Quan. <laughs> a man of taste, Quan. Oh, shit, that weird guy in the Let me check out his intelligence. Don't make eye contact. Maybe he'll go away. Right weird guy at the fountain. I just want you to know what you see right here, here is yours for the taking. You earned it. I love those oh, boots. These are Where'd perfect. You get here, here. Mm. But they're too small. Where the hell is Alfredo? Thank you for getting there for any of these. Dr. Colescott, can you know what ails ya? Dr. 
We should get something hot to drink for the trip home. Hmm, where the hell is Alfredo? Not those boots. Where'd you get them? Not those boots. Where'd you get them? Most armor blaster, most armor blaster, most armor blaster. Most armor lieutenant, flab and hailer. Alright. It did say inside the bazaar, didn't you? The headhunter is working inside the bazaar. Is he down here? I wonder. Hmm. Disco made me do it. I love that sign. That's a cool sign. Alright, let's see if he's down here in the Warrens. That's Gwynplaine, Frank Esteen, and DJ Rip. So he's not here. Where the heck is Alfredo? Did I completely overlook him? Alright, there's Simon the Squatch. Gun. Sanctified, sanctified Piscatelli. Blood. Blood. A, sanctified laser by oh, a laser pistol. I've always a laser pistol. I've always wanted one of these. Staring at us again. He wasn't in here. Enjoy the monster army hospitality, because you've right. earned it. Dolia Jones. Ah, Alfredo. There he is. Well, when you're a man as sexy as I am, you always. Uh, oh, hola, amigos. <laughs> Is something I can help you with? Yes. Boskif wants you back at the jamboree, Alfredo. He says you were the best cook he's ever had. You can get your ass back to the jamboree. How about that, Boskif? Yeah. That chingado loco tell you what he had me cooking? Men, women, kids. I had to get out, and I'm not going back. You hear me? Okay. Uh, the boss wants you back at the jam real right now. Alive or dead? You get it? You get us? Uh, taking your head, uh, even if we have to kill the entire monster, I'll just get it. Uh, the boss wants you back. I don't care what that chingado wants. If you'd had to do the things I've done, you'd understand. I'm not going back. You hear me? Never! Okay. Uh, never mind. Adios, but we do home. have a hard ass item, don't we? Hard ass plus one. You again? Why yep. won't you leave me alone? It's like this, Alfredo. Either go back on your own or we carry your head back in a bag. What's it gonna be? Okay, okay, take it easy. <coughs> I'll go after my shift ends. But mark my words, cabrones. Sooner or later, Gift's gonna turn on you too. Count on it. Adios, okay. pendejo! All right, that did it. Oh, he was wearing the experience bonus thing, wasn't he? We actually have two hard ass items. I think he was wearing the experience bonus. All right, so that's him found. Uh, let's do a bit of trading, maybe. Guns sanctified with blood. Hello again, strangers. Hello, hello. Uh, show us what you've got for Certainly. sale. Alright, still junk. We have a crap ton of money. Does she have any weapons that we would want? I don't think so. Yeah. 
Uh, ammo. We're pretty good for ammo. We could do with some 38s. And we could also do with some 30 odd 6. I think we're good now. Whoa, that's expensive. Let's buy 200 though. Just so we don't run out. Alright. Armor. Don't need any of that. Alright. You know... We should check all our weapons and armor to see if we want to mod anything. I think uh, I'll do that real quick and then I'll be back. Alright, we have modded all our weapons. There wasn't really anything to mod on the armor, but all of our weapons pretty much have received some mods. We, uh, we got quite a bit better, I think. Uh, so, okay, let's head out. I think that was some pretty good upgrades that I did. Um, we can take a quick look at a few of them. I suppose. Come on, load, load. Thank you. So, for instance, here... We got a nice barrel with eight extra damage. We got a scope for critical chance, and we got an underbarrel for hit chance. And that's basically what we put on all our weapons. Uh, something like that. Okay, we need to head to the Hoon, Hoon Homestead to meet with uh, Angela. So, let's do that. Okay. Let's head to the Hoon Homestead. That's where we want to go. If we can let's get homestead. Let's see if we can find Angela and have a chat. How advanced are you? The most advanced technology of the 20th century. This rolling miracle on wheels with Okay, okay, <laughs> stop please. Let's head into the home homestead and see about Angela. Okay. What do you have to say, Angela? Where are you? There, there's a rebel scout. Let's talk Colonel to him. Colonel Death will be along just as soon as I make sure you're all here. And you haven't brought along any unexpected guests. Can't be too careful these days, right? True. Glad we have an understanding. Well, looks like everyone's here who's supposed to be here. So I'll give her a ring. One sec. Puts his walkie talk to his clear. mouth. Come ahead. Okay. Hey now, cowboys. Face to face at last. And just as handsome as I thought you'd be. Remember when you chose to follow the Patriarch's orders instead of saving those folks Erastus threatened to slaughter? I figured we'd meet here so you could see what was left of them. 
I know Woodson told you to do Buchanan's bidding, but to my mind, it ain't the ranger way to help the powerful ahead of the helpless. Cause things like this happen. Just something to keep in mind as you hear me out. Okay. It looks like your facial scarring makes it difficult to open your mouth. You must be in constant pain. Would you like some meds? Nice to meet at last. What do you want to tell us? Speak your price. Or speak your piece. Don't need a lesson lesson in the range away from you. Just tell us what you want. Um, nice to meet you at last. Well, ain't you polite. Hope that bodes well. Now, what with you not taking Saul's sons out like I asked? I'm guessing we've got different ideas about how things in Colorado should play out. But I'm still hoping you'll come around, November. So here's the deal. As my friends and I see it, two things gotta happen to save the people of Colorado from tyranny and slaughter. First, Liberty and the gang she's gathered out east have to be eliminated. Agreed. And second... Shit! Scar collectors. Well, well. Speak of the devil and her minions shall appear. Looks like Liberty overheard our rendezvous call. Guess we'll have to deal with this before we continue. Guess so. All right. Eat uh, shit for more heart. Quite a few scar collectors. Well. There are some bomb guys. Ow. Stop picking on Jody. Oh, thanks, dude. is coming out. Let's make this quick. Yeah, let's uh Jody. Let's actually wait with Jody. Seuss. It's a long way you have to run. Alright. In that case, Lucia, I'll come up here and take him out. Can come out here and take a shot at him and miss, unfortunately. Okay, Seuss. Why don't you come up here? And hit Watch that. Aim, Ranger. What? I wasn't gonna hit you. I don't wanna hit my growler cub. Damn it. Right, come up here then. And do that. Alright, not bad hits. Not bad hits. And defend. Okay, Jody, come up here. Let's hit you in the head. Good hit, Jody. And prepare. Quan. Hmm.
Let's head over here. Juan, you're gonna shoot that guy. Oh, he has a lot of armor. That kinda sucks. But it is what it is. Cello. He's dead. Oh, good hit. Fen. And then there's just Hawk left. I'll come up here. Oh, that was a nice hit. Let's do it again. Get into cover here. Alright. It's fine. Shoot the the rebels. Don't shoot me. I'm okay with that. How? Jesus. Soups went down. That thing was crazy. Crap! Laser focused. Avoid the power. Right, friendly turn. Your life's in your ass is grass. Nice. You deserve this. All right. There goes the cyclops. Bear Cub took down that thrall. Alright, um, let's start with Hawk. Okay. And Hawk, you can come up here and ambush. You see, you kind of need to pick Seuss up. Hmm. Now come up here. Someone else will pick Seuss up. And you can shoot this guy twice. Jody! Please hit. No. Please hit. Good. Defend. One. Come up here. Defend. And Cello. Sixty percent to hit. What if we do this instead? Then he's dead, and then we can pick him up. Come up here. Take a shot at him. You heal. Okay. Nice. Nice ambush there from Hawk. Okay. That's that. That's that. As my friends and I see it, two things gotta happen to save the people of Colorado from tyranny and slaughter. First, 
Liberty and the gang she's gathered out east have to be eliminated. Yeah, you already said that. Second, and you're gonna love this, the Patriarch's gotta go too. Mm, ours were to help the Patriarch so he helps Arizona. Killing him will kill, kills the folks back home. How can you ask that? Without the Patriarch, Colorado could fall into anarchy. We know the Patriarch's no angel, but Colorado's surrounded by enemies. He's had to make hard choices to keep it safe. We've been thinking the same thing. Let's talk about Arizona. I love the people of Arizona. Arizona is my home. But are you willing to save lives there at the expense of lives here? Are you okay sending home food spattered with innocent blood? Kinda. They're not just people to me, Colonel. You're talking about letting my family die. My mom and my dad. You think I don't have family back home? You think it's not gonna kill me if they die? But this is about everybody's family. The greater good. Listen, the Rangers have fought tyranny since the beginning. Without compromise. How can we continue to do that if we take handouts from a tyrant? How can we pretend we're heroes if we do his dirty work to get it? That's a fair point. Sorry, I had this argument with General Woodson a hundred times. A sure deal was more important to him than a moral one. That's why the advance team went dark and decided to do this on our own. Of course, it turned out we couldn't do it on our own, which is why we were so happy when you showed up, and why we're here now, asking you for help. Okay. What do you need? Oh, thanks for hearing me out. Uh, let's talk about Liberty first. I've got to hand it to her. Daddy's little girl has done the impossible. She's united the boldest and baddest warlords of the Eastern Plains, and she's getting ready to lead them into Colorado. When she does, well... Well, that'll be the end of this place. Every man, woman, and child from here to the Rockies will be killed, enslaved, or taken as a sacrifice. And their houses and towns burned to the ground. None of us want that, right? Right. Why wouldn't we work with the Patriarch to stop Liberty? Right, we don't want to call Colorado to end that. We don't give a shit what happens to Colorado. Why wouldn't we work with the Patriarch to stop Liberty? Oh, I don't mind about that. So long as you change your mind about him after. So? Uh, right. We don't want to call Colorado to end like that. Glad to hear it. So here's the plan. Part one, help Ironclad Cordite take control of Liberty's gangs. Then, part two, let him lead them all off to Kansas, where he can achieve his blood-soaked destiny without getting any on us. Mm -hmm. I know you've got him on ice back at Ranger HQ. Well, it's time to dust him off and put him to good use. Now, I'm guessing y'all have some questions. Uh, who are these people with you? Why do you want us to do all this? Why aren't you doing it yourself? What's your plan for the Patriarch? Okay, we've got an answer for you. Who are all these people with, with you? Pete and Brother Thomas came back with me from L.A. and Tax from Arizona. These others are locals who have various gripes against the Patriarch. We trained them up as best we could. Nicer bunch of folks you'll never find. Yeah. Why do you want us to do all this? Why aren't you doing it yourself? Pretty simple, really. The Patriarch has spies watching Liberty's compound. If you show up, those spies will think you're there on Daddy's behalf. And they'll be happy to see you. If we show up, our plan is revealed, yeah? And that would give the marshals a chance to button up Colorado Springs before we make our attack. They'd be waiting for us. Okay, what's your plan for the Patriarch? <sighs> now that's gonna be a fight. Basically, while you're taking care of Liberty, my team will be in Colorado Springs, softening the ground. Once you finish up out there, you'll come back and help us corner the man and bring him down. Our primary concern, other than ending the bloody reign of the Buchanans, is minimizing civilian casualties. That means you've got to ride herd on your crew and watch who you ally yourself with. For instance, mm -hmm. we don't want the gangs coming to the party. If Cordite wants to come along and get his revenge on the Patriarch, fine. But he leaves his army at home, no matter how tight a hold he thinks he's got on him. We want to be the good guys here, so we've got to do this clean. Rape and pillage is a surefire way to turn people against their liberators. That's true. 
What do you plan to do for Colorado after you take down the Patriarch? Keep the peace, keep things fair. I don't see the Rangers running things. I see our job as keeping the playing field even. There's always a lot of weasels that come out of the woodwork after a big man falls, trying to grab a piece of the pie. So we're just gonna hang around, and every time a weasel pops their head up, we'll whack them. Yeah, so you'll play whack-a-mole with the weasels. At the same the time, whenever somebody comes along who tries to take care of the people, all the people, we'll help them out. But we ain't gonna be anybody's muscle. We'll answer to the people, nobody else. That sounds kind of idealistic. You really think it's going to work? So the English will play Kingmaker. You'll get to decide who takes power. So we'll be referees. Nice. Sounds kind of idealistic. No idea. Nobody's tried it before, as far as I know. But it's worth a shot, right? Can't be worse than the way things are now. Okay, we've got an answer right, for you. Alright then. What's it going to be? Good question. We're in the Patriot, and his kids need to be stopped. We're not buying it. Your plan sounds destined to fail, and a lot of people could be hurt if it does. Thanks for the info, but we are still siding with the Patriot like Ranger Command told us to. You're wrecking everything Ranger Command has been working toward for the sake of Arizona. We're putting you down. We're not putting her down. I am thinking, uh, I am thinking working with her, actually. Um, we could just say we're not buying it. I'm not sure what to do here. I am not sure what to do here. We're in. The Patriarch and his kids need to be stopped. What? Whew. There's a load off my mind. Thank you. You're gonna make all the difference. Now here's the location of Liberty's camp. Be careful when you get close. The gangs don't care much for strangers. And even less for rangers. Okay. Rangers, please! Don't turn your backs on Arizona! We're not. If you don't change your minds about this soon, we're gonna have to part ways. I, I gotta think of my family first. Hmm. Good luck sorting it out, cowboys. We'll talk again when Liberty's taken care of. Yeah. Alright, so Jody definitely didn't like that. Alright, let's loot this. Junk, energy cells, junk, hypo, something that requires cyborg tech, which we don't know what is, junk, junk, junk. But there was a toaster in here. I guess we already opened that. All right, let's see if we have any level ups. We do on Lucia. All right, let's level her up. We want her small arms up. So we're gonna save the points. And... Coordination, luck, awareness. I think we're going to put a point in awareness. Alright. Alright, we are out of time, guys. Way out of time, actually. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.